Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We praise you. We love you. We lift you up today. We give you glory and honor. We esteem you high. Yes, thank you, Father, for this beautiful Wednesday morning that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Yes, we just thanking him and praising him, loving him, lifting him up this beautiful, this beautiful Wednesday morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, yes. Awesome God, wonderful God. Good morning, Wanda Williams and Alina Williams, Janice Moultrie, Pastor Sabrina, Sandra, God favor me sample. Good morning to you all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So good to be in your presence this morning. Yes, Jacqueline Hamilton, good morning to you. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Yes, thanking God for his love, his mercy and compassion, which is new unto us this day. Yes, we thank you and praise you, Father. Such a mighty God, such a holy God. Yes, a loving and kind God, a just God. Yes, mighty and wonderful. Wonderful is his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 113. Praise you, the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above all the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and, the, and in the earth. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dunghill that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you this morning, Father. Yes, Lord, we just love you and thank you. Just praising you this morning. Psalm 1, 117. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endure forever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, wonderful Father, mighty Father, glorious Father. Yes, we're just thanking him and praising him, loving him, and just lifting him up this beautiful morning. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is no God like the God we serve. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, he is so wonderful. He is so awesome. Yes, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Psalm 145. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. And all men shall speak of the might of thy awesome acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his Tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. To make known of, to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raises up all that be bowed down. The eyes of all that wait upon thee. And thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thy hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. Praise you, the Lord. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all that love him. 
but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We esteem you high. We lift you up. We glorify you. We magnify you today. We declare that you are an awesome God and a wonderful God, and there is no God like you in all this earth, that even though you sit high, you're looking low this morning. Father God, we thank you this morning, yes, for the rising of the sun and the going down of the same, and we will praise your name and thank you and bless you all today long, God, because of who you are and whose we are. Father God, we thank you and praise you this morning. Yes, we thank you for being Jehovah Jireh, our provider this day. Jehovah Shalom, the God of our peace. Hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi, our victory, our banner. Jehovah, hallelujah. Yes, Jehovah Tashikinu, the God of our righteousness. Jehovah Shaboa, the Lord of heaven's host of armies of angels. Lord, we thank you this morning that the battle is not ours, but it's yours, Lord. And we give it all to you today. Father, we glorify you because you are the God of our peace today. You are God Almighty. You are God of the mountains. You are the all-sufficient one, El Shaddai. You are majestic and glorious. You are awesome and honorable. And we just call you this morning. Morning, Adonai this morning. Father God, we thank you right now. Yes, thank you for your grace that you have extended to us this day. Father, in you this morning, we live, move, and have our being all the day long. Father God, we thank you that we can cast all of our cares on you today because you cared for us. Father, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. They may form, but they will not succeed because you are for us, so who or what can be against us? Lord God, we thank you and praise you for your own dear son who died for us, who shed his blood for us. We thank you for Jesus Christ, the anointed one and his anointing. We thank you for, hallelujah, what he did. Lord, we thank you right now that in him, God, you extended all power to us. Father, we thank you this morning that Jesus did not leave us comfortless. He did not leave us alone. We have a comforter. We have your helper. We have a strengthener. We have your Holy Ghost this morning, and we thank Thank you for the Holy Ghost that's in us and upon us. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the direction of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you and praise you right now that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us because you live in us and upon us, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's give God some praise wherever you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise him, praise him, praise him this day. Praise him. And just remember today, hallelujah, that you are complete. I want you to remember that before I pray for you, that you are complete. Somebody say, I am complete. Just want you to remember that everything you need, God already put it in you. Hallelujah. He's already put it in you when you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, when you received the Holy Ghost into your life. Everything you need, God has already put it in you. It's already in you. It's already in there. Hallelujah. The strength you need is in you. The faith you need is in you already. You just got to activate it. Hallelujah. Just gotta, you just got to activate. You just got to believe in God and believe in what God has called you to do. Believe in what God has enabled you to do. You know, you remember, hey, look, some people still do this. You get, you get, um, you know, you want your hair to be a certain way or whatever. You know, back in the day in the 80s and stuff, we, you know, people put that activator on their hair, on those curls. Well, faith is your activator. Faith is the activator in your walk with Christ, in your belief in God. Everything happens by faith. We know the Bible teaches us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Well, please God, activate your faith today. Activate the Holy Spirit today. Don't walk around in disbelief. Don't walk around just feeling sad and, and just talking crazy. No, activate your faith. Put your faith to work. Let faith move in your life. You're a child of God. You're a Christian. You can't do that without faith. 
You had to believe in the words you heard and call something on the inside of you to move to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That was faith. You believe in God by faith. So activate your faith today for God to move in your life. Believe that. Amen. Well, praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord this morning. Come on. I want to do this Overcomers Confession. Good morning to everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer, and I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I profess that my mind is renewed by the word of God concerning every area, every situation, every issue of my life. I am a victor and not a, not a victim. I am a believer and not a doubt. I live and walk by faith. The devil is a defeated foe in my life. And I overcome every attack of the enemy. Jesus came so that I can have life and enjoy my life richly. I declare my God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I do not fret, worry, have anxiety or fear because God, my God, is for me. So who or what can stand against me? I speak to everything in my life that goes against the will of God, the plan of God, and the purpose of God for my life. And I render them inoperable, dead in the name of Jesus. I speak to the mountains, issues, problems, sicknesses, diseases, worries, doubts, fears, and I tell them to be thou removed and I command them to leave me now in the name of Jesus. I am victorious. I am a winner. I will achieve what my God has for me. I will overcome anything and everything that comes against me. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Give God some praise. <laughs> praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. Praise him, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Listen, I got something in this confession I want to address. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We start off and we say we are more than conquerors. We say we overcome and we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. I got a question for you. And don't answer this on the chat. Just think about this. What is your testimony? What are the words that you're speaking out of your mouth? What are you saying about your situation, about your children, about your spouse, about your finances? What are you saying when you're on the phone with other people or when you're in other people's presence? What are you saying? What is your testimony? Your testimony is the words that you're speaking based on what, you, what has happened, what is happening. I want you to understand that if God delivered you before, he will deliver you now. If God gave you victory back then, he'll give you victory right now. The words of your testimony need to be the words that are coming out of this Bible based on what God has said. Let that be your testimony. Don't let what... Uh, what some people down the street, what your neighbors, you know, what your family say, be your testimony. You speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Let that be your testimony today. 
Let that be the thing that strengthens you, that gives you hope, that gives you faith, that gives you might, power, and ability. Let the word of God be your testimony. You, you say, you ought to say, I can do what the Bible says I can do. Well, what does the Bible say you can do? Walk by faith and not by sight. I believe God. Hallelujah. I believe God that I'm healed. I believe God that I am rich. I'm wealthy. I believe God that I'm doing the will of God for my life. I believe God that he is a deliverer. I believe God that he won't let me down. What is your testimony? Hallelujah. That's why you got to speak to yourself. So I just wanted to address that because that came up in me right after I said it. But what is your testimony? Let your testimony be the word of God. You let God be true and every man be a liar. Hallelujah. You got to believe God, child of God. You got to trust the God that you say you love and you serve. You got to trust him. You got to believe in him. You can't let others cause you to doubt because they don't believe. Hallelujah. Even though they may be sitting in church next to you, but they don't have the faith that you have. <clears throat> Because maybe they're believing God for something that's too small. You be the example of true faith to those in your circle, in your world, on your job. You be the one to show them faith. You be the one to let them see that God is real. You be the one witnessing, hallelujah, being the witness that, hey, I asked God, told God, whatever he want me to do, I'll do that. And then when God is blessing you and increasing you. Hallelujah, because he blessed you every day. He blessed us right now to be here. He blessed us to have a house, a roof over our head. He blessed us with food. He blessed us with a job. He blessed us with loved ones. The blessing is not always a material thing. Sometimes the blessing to somebody else is your testimony of how good God has been to you, what God did to you, what God has done for you, and what God is doing. Like the, like the song said, I am a living testimony. I could have been dead and gone, but Lord, you let me live on. Your testimony and let the words of your mouth be the testimony for God this morning. Let it be the testimony every day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise you the Lord. I just wanted to share that. That came up in me. So I just wanted to put that out there this morning. Hallelujah. And, and, and I, I am serious. I am serious. Speak the word of God. Be a testimony. I'm going to tell you something. I'm praying. I'm believing God. I told God I want him to let our business be in a position where we can be a blessing to others who we come in contact with. That's what I told God. I want our business of what we're doing. I want it to be a blessing for him. Hallelujah. And last night, I got text. We got, my wife got some phone calls. I got text messages about people saying, hey, I need a t-shirt. I need this. My wife put it out there that, hey, she want to be a blessing to some cheerleaders. So we just trust in God and believe in God. Why? Because we want to do his will. It's not about us. It's about serving God and being a testimony for somebody else. No part time, just full time. So people see God. So let your testimony be real. And let your heart be real towards God. All right, come on, y'all. Let's do this overflow confession this morning. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Good morning to everybody just joining us. God bless you. I love all y'all today. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare that you prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. I declare, believe, and receive that Jesus came so that I will enjoy my life, have life in abundance till it's full, till it overflows. My God has delivered me into a wealthy place. And my life is overflowing with God's goodness, mercy, peace, love, health, wealth, and financial.
spiritual prosperity. I have the wisdom of God operating in my life concerning my overflow. I boldly declare that I am filled with the presence of the Lord, with the knowledge of the Lord in every area of my life. And my life is a distribution center of the Lord. I am blessed to be a blessing. I am blessed going in, coming out. I am blessed in my hands, in my mind, and whatsoever I do will prosper. I declare my mind is renewed concerning the overflow according to the word of God. And I am prepared to receive what my God has for me. I am a believer and not a doubter. I am blessed to be a blessing. I declare this is my season. This is my time for overflow in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Child of God, when God addresses you and tells you to be a blessing, be a blessing. Don't talk about the devil. No, no, no. We ain't giving the devil no credit today. When the, when the Holy Spirit speaks to you and say, hey, bless this person or do this for this person, call this person. You just be a blessing. You respond in obedience today and tomorrow and forevermore. Hallelujah. Because you just said you're blessed to be a blessing. You and the overflow. Hallelujah. You want, you want the overflow, but are you willing to let God use you for some outflow? It's hard to get love when you don't want to give love. It's hard to get praise when you don't want to give praise. This is not just a receivership. You got to be a giver and a receiver. You want love, give love. Praise the Lord. You want blessings, be a blessing. Hallelujah. But just do God's will. All right, come on, let's do this. I am, don't forget, hallelujah, this is day seven. Speak to yourself, encourage yourself. You walk by the mirror, the thought pop in your head. Say something good about yourself. Hallelujah. And matter of fact, let me add another step to it on uh, today. When you're in the presence of somebody else, say something good about them to them. Hallelujah. Say something good about them to them today. Be a blessing to them with the words that you speak. Hallelujah. Say this after me. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am courageous. I am determined. I am special. I am unique. I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am unstoppable. I am unmovable. I am unshakable. I am unbreakable. I am loved. I am loving. I am gifted. I am talented. I am intelligent. I am amazing. I am anointed. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am complete. I am whole. I am healed. I am confident. I am faithful. I am dependable. I am reliable. I am trustworthy. I am forgiven. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am humble. I am thankful. I am compassionate. I am nice. I am generous. I am kind. I am strong. I am capable. I am skillful. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am royalty. I am holy. I am sanctified. I am set apart. I am renewed. 
I am rich. I am wealthy. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am fire baptized. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things are become new. Greater is the spirit of God, the power of God that's in me, that's upon me, than any spirit, any power that is in this world. I am a child of God. I am God's handiwork. I am God's masterpiece. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just praising him, praising him, praising him. Listen, I know some of you may have to get off, but I want to do two more confessions. If y'all don't mind, give me a few extra minutes today. I got two more I want to do. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Listen, don't forget, speak to yourself. You know, for those of you who have been doing it and are still doing it, will continue to do it. It makes you good when you say something good about you because now you can say something good to somebody else. You can speak words into somebody else's life. See, it's hard to encourage somebody when you don't have encouragement yourself, when you are discouraged. But it becomes easier to encourage other folks when you feel good and you are encouraged when you're uplifted when, hey, you're feeling victorious and you're feeling good, it's easier then for you to do it for somebody else. Why? Because what's in you is coming out of you. And then it's genuine. It's real. They can feel the words that are coming out your mouth. See, when you speaking over yourself and you saying great things about yourself, I'm not just stopping at good things. I want great things. I want awesome things, amazing things. When, hey, when you're speaking over yourself, it becomes easier for you to speak it over somebody else. So know that, know and trust that, amen? So continue to encourage yourself in the Lord. Continue to speak over yourself. Hallelujah. Just want to give you some encouragement this morning. Come on, let's do this favor confession this morning. Actually, I want to do favor last. I want to end with favor. Let's speak over your house today. Hallelujah. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare that my house is a house of God. It is a house of peace, a house of love. My house is filled with the presence of the Lord, with the Holy Ghost. My house is a house of safety, a house of joy, a house of victory, a house of compassion, a house of mercy. My house is a house of spiritual refreshment. It is a house of favor, a house of hope, a house of faith, a house of healing a house of deliverance, a house of breakthrough, a house of miracles. My house is surrounded by God's armies of angels. In my house, we serve the true and living God, Jehovah. My house is covered in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord only in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, you got to let, let the devil know. You got to let that spiritual wickedness know that, hey, in this house, we serve the Lord. We are a house of love. We love one another. We encourage one another. We help one another in this house. Amen. You start declaring that thing and start declaring that everybody come in your house will feel the power of the love of God. They will feel the compassion of God. They will feel the love of God. They will feel the joy of God when they come in my house. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Let them know. Hey, let them know. Tell them, hey, in this house, we speak faith, not fear. In this house, we speak love, not gossip. In this house, we build up, don't tear down. Not in this house. Praise the Lord. All right, come on, y'all. Let's, let's do the last one. Y'all know, hey, I got to do my favorite confession. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Say this after me. Say, Father, I thank you for your grace, undeserved, unearned, unmerited, favor, your supernatural, power, ability, and authority that surrounds my life as a shield. I declare this day the favor of God is working for me when I'm asleep, when I'm awake, when I get up, when I lay down, when I go out, when I come in. The favor of God is working for me in my home, on my job, with my businesses. I have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. Let's say that one more time. I have favor and good success and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. My God has raised up and is raising up people to use their favor, their power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, Inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, and wisdom to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. And my God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, Intelligent, strength, money, discernment, revelation knowledge, and wisdom to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. I declare the favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulation, and ordinances to be changed, created, modified. To favor me, I am Abraham's seed, and the blessings and favor of Abraham is on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it one more time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Say that one more time. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Turn around one time. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn around again for somebody else and because I want a double portion of God's favor today. Hallelujah. Let's reach up and touch the hem of his garment and let's pull down that favor, favor, favor today. Hallelujah. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment and I pull down favor in Jesus' name. Pull it down today. Glory, glory, glory. Well, I want to thank y'all for joining me today. But listen, I want you to believe the words that came out of your mouth. Believe the things that you prayed. Believe the things that you're saying. Listen, listen. Serve God and let God serve you. Hallelujah. Put it all in God's hand. You don't try. You don't cry, cry about it. And nothing seems to be moving. Put it in God's hand. Do God's will and let God bless you openly. 
Let God show out in your life. That's it. Tell God what a what a what a what, what, what a great heart. When you mean it, God, show me what to do to please you. Allow my life to be a life that's pleasing to you. Let me be a blessing to others like you want me to. And let God do what he wants to do in your life. Give it. You know, just surrender to God. There's nothing greater. But I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to believe in the words that you're speaking. Believe in yourself. God loves you. God is with you. But believe in God. Believe in yourself. The scripture says in 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, believe in the Lord your God, you should be established. Believe in the prophet and you shall prosper. I want you to believe in God. Believe in what I'm speaking, but believe in yourself as well. Believe in the power of God that's operating in your life today. Amen. So with that being said, I want to say thank y'all for joining us today. Thank you for being a blessing to us. Hallelujah for just walking with us. Hallelujah. And sticking with us. Thank you for supporting us with your prayers, with your finances. You want to make a donation? I pinned it. My wife put the information in there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you want to continue to support our ministry financially, you can. We thank you. We praise God for you. But with that being said, listen, look forward to seeing you tonight at 7 p.m. for Bible study. So on behalf of myself, Pastor James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful queen, my beautiful wife over there in the background, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and of course, the most beautifulest, bestest, Holy Ghost field, blessedest, hallelujah, hallelujah, devil stumping, fire baptized, sanctified, Holy Ghost field, amazing, anointed, hallelujah, committed, skillful lawyer, able, prompt to do, body of believers on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family, and you, our Uplift Church 429 Facebook Live family. God bless you. I love y'all. Go in the name of Jesus. See you tonight at 7 p.m. Peace. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Hallelujah.